Okay. Okay. Hi, Jackie. Thank you for running for office and seeking the Riveters Collective endorsement. Um, we're conducting this interview on the traditional territory of the Nooksack Tribe and Lummi Nation. This interview is being recorded for us to use in our endorsement decisions and may also be shared publicly. Uh, looks like your screen name is great. Uh, we have about five, or we have five questions for you with about three to four minutes of time for you to answer them for a total of about 20 minutes. And hopefully there's room at the end if you have any questions for us. Um, to begin, will you tell us how you prefer to be addressed? Uh, she, her, please. Okay, great. So we're gonna start by uh, the committee members that are here introducing themselves, starting with Lee Chi. Hi, Jackie. My name is Lee Chi Leong. Lee Chi is my first name, and I moved to Bellingham from New York City. I apologize for being off camera. I don't actually have a camera on this device, um, and I'll hand things over to Beth. Thanks, Lee Chi. Hi, Jackie. My name is Beth Hartsock. Um, thank you for being here and for running for office. Oh, Suzanne. Hi, Jackie. My name is Suzanne. Um, I appreciate you being here. It's a pleasure to see you. Um, I'd also like to introduce Yoan Savella, who's um, our tech support tonight and um, off camera doing tech things. Um, uh, so yeah, thanks. So our first question is, could you please describe a recent project you collaborated on, how you facilitated that collaboration, and what you learned from your partners that you'll improve on in the future? So oh, um, I participate in many organizations. I am the economic interest for the Whatcom Marine Resource Committee. And I um, work with Native Olympia Oyster Survey work since I have a uh, fairly extensive background on it from aquaculture school and working with the Swinomish tribe. Um, and I facilitated and led a uh, Olympia oyster survey in Mud Bay in Chuckanut. And that was uh, demonstrated and the methods were uh, preceded by the Bellingham Tech Aquaculture and Fishery students. And that was a really fun time. We got to collaborate and that research contributes to a grander um, restoration project with the Puget Sound Restoration Fund and the Native Olympia Oyster Research and Restoration work that's being done in the state. And I've also worked with the Puget Sound Restoration Fund in other forums when I worked with the Swinomish tribe doing Native Olympia Oyster Research. Um, I can go on of other collaboration and, and projects I've worked on as well, but that's just my most recent one. That was about a month ago. Thank you. If elected, how will you involve residents in your decision-making process? Um, I'm a pretty big community involved person. I work at the Drayton Harbor Oyster Company. So in Blaine and Birch Bay, I am constantly out on the tide flats and around in many other uh, groups like the uh, Blaine Elementary School PTO. And my way of engaging with the public is being present at all the events and talking to people. During my campaign, I am excited to door knock and to talk to my district and my community members and find out their concerns and, and how I could better serve them if elected. Thank you. As a council member, what will you do to improve affordable or housing affordability and access in Whatcom County? Um, I know that currently uh, Whatcom County is going to be going undergoing some rezoning, uh, which is really going to significantly contribute to the uh, process of having more affordable, affordable housing. I am kind of sick of seeing the uh, sprawl that happens. It affects our agricultural land, our forests, our fisheries, our near shore environment. And as any good scientist knows, you go up and not out. And as uh, if elected, I would be pushing for more bills and incentives actually 
for con contractors to encourage that kind of development. We need to support more for smaller families that can't afford these homes that are being built all over the county. Thank you. Um, the county council acts as Whatcom's Board of Health. What do you see as the biggest health-related challenge facing our community and how do you plan to address it? Ooh, that's a big question because there's a lot of health concerns in the county. Um, one of my health concerns is also environmental and it deals with water quality. Water quality is always an issue for everybody. If you're a farmer, if you work in fisheries, if you drink water, um, I know about the adjudication of the Nooksack River Basin and the importance of, of having water rights and having them uh, dealt out with oversight so that people are not just taking from these aquifers and stripping away from what we need to keep our fisheries alive so that there's sustainable food for indigenous peoples. Um, and then also uh, healthcare for everybody, which is more of a federal level, but um, maybe assisting people in our more inequitable, disparable communities um, that need more support with healthcare. Yeah. Thanks. Um, what other issues do you plan on prioritizing if you're elected to the council? Um, one of my top issues and priorities that I'd like to uh, assist with in the county is affordable quality childcare. I know that I suffered from it as a working scientist career mom. I had to take a couple years off from my career uh, to take care of my children. And, and I know that my career suffers. And I know that a lot of other working parents, not just moms, but dads too, um, have a hard time finding good quality childcare that's affordable so they can work. Because most of the time, as you know, if your kids aren't in school full time, you're working to pay someone to raise your kid. And that's a very, very tough thing to live with. Uh, so that's one. Another thing um, is pushing for more information infrastructure for our rural communities. I suffer from that. And I know many other people do too. And I think that I, on the city or the, sorry, county council level can really make an impact with that and have more connection and assistance with that and finding those communities that need it the most. Like mine, where my internet is unstable, as you can see. <laughs> And one more thing I'd like to um, push and support with my campaign is economic growth, but especially in the blue green industries. Uh, we can't just talk about climate change and carbon sequestration. We need to actually have tools and people uh, doing those and support those folks in moving forward and, and achieving and having action towards the climate change. Uh, maritime industries, aquaculture with Alcoa being gone, that is a really cool footprint that maybe a sustainable business could take up and that would support more economic growth in district five. I think that's about what I got so far. I'm really new at this, so uh, bear with me. Um, I'm a science person, an aquaculturist, a mom and a farmer. So politics is new, but it's really fun. Well, I have to comment that you're the first candidate that um, has brought like a demonstration of the problem to the interview by like having your internet be unstable while you're talking about unstable internet. That's impressive. <laughs> All right, um, you went through those questions pretty quickly. Um, so is there anything that you <laughs> need, maybe we didn't ask about that you really wanna talk about or are you feeling good about this? Um, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I'm also starting a kelp seaweed mussel farm in Birch Bay. So if my hair looks kind of crazy, it's because it was sandy salty from doing clam surveys um, to get my permits going here pretty soon. So that's another reason why I think I'd be an excellent candidate for the County Council District 5 position because I am 
so involved and I really am District 5 Coastal Community through and through. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. Uh, do you have any questions for the Riveters? No, not at all, except would I uh, offend anybody if I was Rosie Riveter for Halloween? No, we approve. It, it's actually a requirement. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. And okay. Last last thing. Oh. Sorry. Sorry, Toby. Were you going to yeah. tell her? Oh no, you go ahead. Don't don't take my line, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Um. So we're just doing interviews this week. And then this committee is going to provide recommendations to the board of directors by the 19th. And then I think we expect that the board will vote um, on endorsement decisions within like a week after that. So uh, at that point, we will call you on the phone number that you provided to us and let you know of our decision. And then um, and then after that, you know, we'll make it public. Back to you, Toby. Oh, I think awesome. Thank you. And thank you, everyone, for. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to talk <laughs> with me today. Thanks thank so much, you. Jackie. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for running. Have a good Thank night. You.